I want to show you how do we figure out how many gallons per minute and how far we can pump with a Dota PTO pump. I got a phone call today from Patrick from Quebec. He is wanting to pump with a frac out of a frac tank. I'll be using a Dota PTO pump and then surface application. First step is PSI loss chart and also what can your pump produce? How many gallon per minute at what PSI? So this particular pump at 800 gallons a minute, it will put out 150 PSI. So now we can go to our flow chart or our PSI loss chart. We're going to look at 800 gallons per minute. That's the top column with five inch hose, 800 gallons a minute, 23 PSI of loss per 660 foot or 200 meters. Six inch supply hose, nine PSI per 660 feet. Is there a big difference between 23 PSI and nine PSI? That's the difference that one inch makes. That means we got 23 PSI. Now we drop to nine PSI. So you could have two and a half sections of six inch hose would go the same distance as 1500 feet with six inch hose. And you can only go 660 feet with five inch hose. So you don't want more five inch drag hose than what you need. So if we have 1,320 feet of five inch drag, 6,600 feet of six inch supply, that's a total of a mile and a half of hose, gives us 136 PSI of loss. We also need about 10 to 15 PSI out here. One thing is it gives you a better spread pattern. The, the real reason is this hose. You need 10 PSI to keep it from kinking. If you turn around and you see it kinking, you're wearing your hose out. So watch your pressure gauge. If that's only at two or three PSI, shut this valve part ways until you get 10 PSI on your gauge. You can email me and I'll send you a PDF of the loss chart, or you can also go on my website and find it there. My name is Eric Hoover. We sell dragline equipment, the pumps, hose reels, hose applicators, injectors, dribble bars. We got the complete dragline system.